Well, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Mm -hmm. how, do, how do you address the, the inequality problem? I mean, cities are increasingly expensive. It's tough. You have to be rich and near rich to be able to afford uh, to live. So how do you, what, what specifically do you do to? First, I want to say I, I agree with Bernie Sanders. We do need free uh, <laughs> community you know. college. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I think we need to raise the minimum wage. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we create affordable housing through inclusionary zoning, uh, create when developers what is build. What you, when inclusionary zoning, what do you mean by when that? When developers build, they have to set aside a certain amount of affordable housing okay. in their development. But, or or promise to develop housing that exists elsewhere. Is that, is but the city is? should be able to have the determining factor on that and not the developer themselves. So right. the city should be able to tell them you could develop, put money in a, in a fund or develop another part of the community that is dilapidated or has been neglected for years. Right. Uh, and we have that in our inclusionary zoning uh, ordinance in the city. You have to have stabilized uh, rents through rent control and you know something that they have in, over here that we're doing in Newark. Uh, we uh, provide lawyers for illegal evictions. Uh, all of those kind of things to kind of stabilize the economy there but also uh, create pipelines, real systemic pipelines. So we have something called Newark City of Learning Collaborative where we create pipelines from elementary school to the university. So you have a university like Rutgers Newark who has increased its enrollment of Newark students by 60% in the last three years. They offer a scholarship to everybody that makes $60,000 or less uh, given they make the grade something like uh, they're doing in Chicago. But these are the things that you have to do in a collaborative way. So collaboration is key. That's the secret sauce. If, if, you're not, if you don't have the university community, the private sector, the philanthropic community, the public sector together working, it becomes increasingly difficult uh, to make these things happen. So collaboration is important, and you're collaborating around making an economy that's inclusive for everybody that's there. And it's difficult. It's not easy. I mean, it's easier for us to be up on the stage talking about all these grand things that are going to make this stuff happen. It's particularly in a system that's designed to create inequality, in my mind. You have to have uh, things to push back against that uh, to protect people uh, so they're not swallowed up uh, by the progress of your own city. Yeah. So, 